TI Publisher now features a visual editor to help users create and modify processing models. We start by creating a new art. Select it from the list and then open one of the letters we would like to format. As you can see, only the default formatting is applied. We can change this now by choosing Edit Art from the Admin menu. And a new tab opens with the Visual Art Editor. The box on the left of the editor allows you to navigate between arts, save your changes, add new element specs or quickly jump to an existing element spec. The right side is still empty as we have not added any processing model rules yet. We start by moving the dateline element of our letter to the right. So we enter dateline as the ident for a new processing model element spec and click on new. As you can see, an element spec has now been added to the right of the window. It already contains a processing model. Why? Uh, well, the editor has searched through all arts from which our art inherits and found an existing rule for dateline in the standard TI simple print art which contains default renditions for all elements of the TI Simple Print subset. The editor already inserted the existing model, so you can easily modify it. To move the date line, we need to add a output rendition. So we click on the plus label next to the label renditions and just enter CSS. Next, we would also like page breaks uh, to be hidden from view in our letter. So we add another element spec for PB, insert it, and all we need to do here is change the behavior break, which outputs um, the page break um, into omit, so it gets skipped. We can now save our art and see if our changes worked out. So we switch back to the letter and we have to click reload in order to see the changed rendition. The date line has been moved to the right and the page breaks are no longer visible. Okay, so going back to the editor, our TI document actually contains a lot of information about uh, each person and each place uh, appearing in the letter. This information is contained in the TI header and is referenced from the name elements using an ID. So we would like to actually show those name elements. So we add another element spec for name. And for a spare start, all we do is add a rendition so we can distinguish the names uh, using small caps. And then uh, we may also want to just uh, show the additional information available about each person um, as a pop-up or similar. Um, so we add another model to the name element spec and to limit it to uh, person type names we add a predicate type equals person. We would like to see a pop-up and uh, for the web view pop-ups are displayed through the behavior alternate how we choose behavior alternate. Alternate takes two parameters, um, the default and an alternate. So we add a parameter default first. And for this, all we want to see is um, actually the content of the element. So all we have to do is use 
the dot here um, corresponding to the current node being processed. Then we add another parameter, alternate. And this will be um, the content displayed in the, in the pop-up. So what we would like to see here is um, the description of that particular person contained within the person record in the TI header. To navigate to this um, description, we are using the ID function. And uh, now each uh, name element has an attribute ref um, pointing to the record in the header. But we have to be careful because this attribute will start with a hash sign. So we need to strip this out in order to locate by ID. So ref. And we also need to supply a context to the ID function, which in this case would simply be the root of um, the current document, but um, theoretically it could also be an external document. Right, so we save this. And once more switch to our letter, click on reload to see the results and we now get all the information from the name elements in the header, the person elements in the header. Um, but we are getting all of it and we would actually like to limit it to just um, the notes contained in there for now. So we just change our alternate, save again, go back to the letter, we reload the page and now you can see we're just getting um, the descriptions contained in the comment for each name. I'd also like to point out that uh, using the visual editor is non-destructive, so you can switch between editing uh, the source XML and using the visual editor without uh, destroying anything. Okay, so that's uh, my short introduction and I hope you'll have uh, fun exploring the new features in TI Publisher. Bye-bye.